Well, everyone, thank you for uh, making time to watch this, uh, this podcast today. My name is Chuck Pretner. I am one of the directors of franchise development at Right at Home. The point of this conversation really is, uh, we call it Meet the Team. It's a, a kind of a candid conversation with our franchisees out there that are really the backbone of the entire company. So we have a series of 15-minute interviews that we do with a cross-section of franchisees on tenure, geography, size, all of those things. Joining me today is Harley Cohn. He's been a franchisee with for a while. He's down in Texas. So with that said, Harley, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us and parking your car. So if you could just tell me a little bit about your location when you joined right at home. Um, do you have more than one territory? Anything like that just to kind of set the stage for the folks dialing in? Absolutely. Well, back in 2005, I was doing soul searching, really looking to see where was my next chapter in my career. And I wanted to still be, uh, still remain a business owner. I was formerly a financial planner for a short period of time. And I wanted to see what was out there that would be meaningful work that would take care of my family. And Interestingly enough, all the arrows pointed to home care. It was never my intent. It just fed into all the ingredients I was looking for and be able to make a difference, know that it would be around a long, long time. And, um, you know, and also the opportunity to work with other people and other franchisees mentioned it was also providing a great quality of life to support the family and I was able to utilize my marketing skills and it wasn't going to be a huge capital investment. So I decided that, you know, at that point I was going to look at home care and, and I say this frequently, but you know, I did discovery days and I, and I select, I looked at about three other home care franchises and flew out to those other locations. And frankly, you know, I felt more right at home with right at home because I really felt like, the individuals in Omaha, the franchisor at Discovery Day, were in it for the right reasons. And this was in October of 2005. And then I signed my agreement in um, November of 2005. And my territory is Dallas. I have one territory and it's a good piece of North Dallas. And so now I'm suddenly on my 17th year. So let me ask you this. You mentioned you came from a financial bank. Was there ever a thought in your mind that perhaps you needed a medical background, anything along those lines to be in in home care? Not really. And I and I was, a, you know, my background was mostly sales and marketing. Um, I was in financial services for four years, but, you know, no, I didn't have any health care background. I I was told that it was really not required. Um and I was able to talk with many franchisees, and um, some of which didn't have a healthcare background at all. Um, just having the support of the franchisor and other franchisees when I had questions was extremely beneficial. And then obviously I studied, I became a certified senior advisor, uh, learning a lot of elements of what older adults go through, but that wasn't really required. That was just something I took on perhaps to have a little more credibility when I met with families, but no, not at all. I, it's helpful. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I was able to learn and, and um, get myself up the mountain. Okay. With the help of fellow franchisees and the support from uh, Omaha and Omaha had terrific support. I mean, there was a nurse I was contacting at that time. And she was extremely helpful. So I had guidance in case some healthcare issues came up that I need to be careful on not to get too involved with. So you've been a franchisee for 17 years. What is a typical day in the life of Harley Cohn? Well, the typical day for me is, you know, without being glib about this, is really just constantly adapting. Obviously, I have no idea what I'm walking into each day. I don't know if a new family might need care. I might need to go out and meet with the family to determine how to personalize care. 
Uh, my operation is going to have a question of something that's occurred in the home they're not sure how to address. Um, is this mainly rolling up the sleeves and doing whatever we can to support our caregivers who are providing the care and make sure we're highly responsive to the families that we serve? And whatever it takes to get that achieved and really fulfilling our mission, you know, how can we improve the quality of life for everybody we serve? I mean, that's really what drives me. And then I think really the key is adapting. That's a typical day is adapting and doing your best to have a smile on your face and really understand why you're here to help others, to serve others and, um, you know, make it a great day regardless of what hits you. And so obviously there's no typical day in life except for the ability that you hopefully wake up in the morning, you know, <laughs> and then you, you go to work and do whatever it takes. And so that's you know really my typical day. You mentioned support in terms of supporting your clients, supporting the client's family, all of those things, but there's other layers of support. You couldn't necessarily do what you do without support from right at home in Omaha and your other franchisees. If you could say, what is the best support you receive from the home office or your franchisee network? What would some of those things be? Well, I think from the franchisor, the home office there in Omaha with Right at Home, is their ability to get me to the right people. To, so that if I have a question as it relates to anything in the operation of, of right at home, they're going to point me in the right direction. So for me, that I get out of Omaha is that they really are there to support the franchisees. And I'm not, you know, I say that because they've earned it. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not in allegiance to say anything, you know, I, um, you know, supportive or negative. I, I mean, I just, I tell it the way it is. And whenever I've needed them since early 2006, they've been there for me. They care, they're supportive, and they don't have, they get me to the right people. Uh, so, from an Omaha standpoint, um, they've always been there. Um, the franchisees picking up the phone, that, that's, that's incredibly helpful because they're out there on the front lines. They got everything on the line doing whatever it takes to run their business and running things by them is just so critical. I would, I would say, Chuck, that's really, really critical in this business and in owning a franchise. And I say this to people that call me is the support in Omaha is going to be there. Your franchisees will be there to answer any questions, but it's really the blood, sweat and tears of the new owner or the franchisee that's going to make it in this business. They've got to have a huge why and why they want to be successful at this, uh, because that's the person who's going to make it happen, regardless of all the support they get from Omaha or a franchisee. It's your willingness to do whatever it takes to be successful as a right at home franchisee and owner. You know, we were talking a little bit about the right home corporate office. We're talking a little bit about the, the franchisee network out there. Next week for us is a pretty special event. It is our national get together. Uh, we call it home improvement. You're going to be there next week, Harley. Tell me a little bit about your thoughts on home improvement, maybe what it means to you. Well, what it means to me is that we're together as a brand, as a family. We are the right at home family. And what's really cool about that is seeing us all together there, all the franchisees for those who can attend and the leadership of Omaha and the corporate office, the franchisor, and us all being there uh, aligned as a strong, you know, strong brand and really critical that we have. And I know we're still going through this pandemic, but endure, enduring this pandemic you know, being fully tested in 2000, 2001, and certainly even in 2000 and 2000, excuse me, um, you know, uh, uh, 2020 and uh, 2021 and 2022 now. I mean, 2022, that's just a testament of what all of us have gone through 
And now we're going to finally be together uh, in just one week. I mean, I think that's huge. So that's just going to be a victory in itself, getting all of us together again. It's going to be a, it's going to be a great week of seeing old friends and learning new systems and seeing new friends. Harley, just like any conversation, it goes so quick. I personally want to thank you for spending the time to make yourself available to all the folks listening in and down the road. Maybe some of those people will call you up as well. Again, Harley, thank you so much. And hey, have a great day. Okay, you too, Chuck. Happy to, happy to, to help in any way I can.